Hello, hello, good afternoon. It's Pip here with your Moody Monday Pick Me Up video. Uh, today I've got a couple of things I'm talking to you about first before we uh, jump into creativity and doing some fun stuff. Um, I just want to talk to you about this. This is the new products that have just been launched, literally just been launched today. Uh, they come from Stampin' Up, obviously, and they are a set of storage solutions. It's called Storage by Stampin' Up. It's available now from me, from my shop, which the links are in the description. And basically it's completely configurable. So you buy it in packs and sets like this, and then you decide how you put it together. So you can put all your ink in colour families and you can buy two sets of five and you've got all you know both sets ready and it will take your ink pads and it will take your pens or you can just buy it for the blends so it fits the stampin uh, blends perfectly so you could just buy these stampin blend storage trays and put your blends in them and then they've got these two or three little other things so they've got um, the open storage cube which is what these are here uh, if you can see that this one is actually the size it's showing you it's the size to fit the half wood mount cases in which is cool um, and this one obviously they put ribbons and stuff in but you could put anything in them and then this storage topper is a little box and it fits 20 stamping up re ink refills in there so you could get well you'd only need what three two and a bit of those so you could have two with ink refills in three with ink refills and something else um or then there's this which is just a flat topper so obviously that's what they've put on top of this storage here so that they could put a plant on top of it or you could put um, on top of the cube you could put a flat storage topper and put some twine or something up like that so it's really good really really good and um, I'm just so delighted that they've come out with it. It's been a long time coming, but obviously with the new ink pad design, they had to come out with something that would fit. Um, I can tell you that these do not fit the old design. They only fit the new design. So if you look at the two ink pads side by side, you can see that um, this one at the bottom is slightly longer here. And it is actually slightly thicker. When you look at it like that, you can see that quite clearly then. Um, and so that means that these ones won't fit into these slots however you could stack them i think i think into these but i'm not sure i think you should be able to because they're as wide as an ink pad and a pen which means they should fit them this way so what i'm thinking is that these empty storage you could slot in some of these old style ink pads so um, i will be ordering some of this today um, it's available today for, in the shop. We only found out about it last week, which is why you're only just kind of hearing about it from me. So I will be ordering some of this and then I will do a little uh, Facebook Live when it arrives to show you how it all kind of fits together. Um, also available today, you can't really see that on there, but there's some beautiful floral grid paper. So it's like the normal grid paper, but it's got floral designs on the site. It's beautiful. So if you wanted some grid paper that maybe you wanted to just write on or journal on or something like that, there's also some floral grid paper. Now, this is while stocks last. But this storage is going to be in the new catalogue. So it's like a sneak peek early release. Um, and you can purchase it from today. Mix and match it. M my suggestion is you work out how many ink pads you have, pens, blends, whatever. And then kind of come up with a configuration of what you're going to need and then either buy it all at once yay um or purchase it maybe um a bit every month hello yvette's on morning yvette hi and you've just put in your storage order with the grid paper yay <laughs> so yeah so i mean i think it's going to be amazing i've, I've got orders in already for people who want this so if, as i say if you live locally to me um, then I can put a shared order in today. I'll be putting it in this afternoon, uh, probably about three o'clock. So that's kind of the cutoff date. Let me know by three o'clock if you want some. Um, and then we can do shared shipping. But if you want it directly shipped to your house, then you can purchase it online. Don't forget, there's a new monthly host code out there today for you to have a look at. Okay, so that's the that's kind of like the new thing that's arriving. 
all right which i wanted to talk to you about but as i say i will do more on this uh, uh another time okay so now let's get into some creative stuff let's put that down out the way uh and i just i'm gonna need to go and get my big shot which i've left in my lovely new cupboard which if you've been following my um pictures on here you will know that i've had my new calyx units put up i am going to do a craft room um mini makeover review and reveal uh but i do still have a few things that i need to get sorted out and put away so it might be um after next weekend it's probably going to be next week okay so i made this card last week uh using up some of the painted harvest um designer series paper which we can't obviously you can't get anymore and uh, playing with varied vases in fact this is um, the new one this is vibrant vases so I wanted to do something else with this because I know a lot of you bought vibrant vases no varied vases. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get that wrong all lunchtime <laughs> okay so I know a lot of you bought the varied vases bundle okay which is this okay so varied vases stamp set and the punch that goes with them okay this one so i know that lots of you bought that and i did loads of cards when it first came out and i haven't done anything for ages so i thought a lot of my customers were paying were talking to me about the fact that they hadn't even got some of their stamp sets out of the boxes yet or they hadn't felt like they hadn't used what they'd already got so i thought right we're going to go so this week my product of the week obviously is the storage but we're going to um and there'll be posts about that every day but we're going to go and talk about over the next few weeks lots and lots of stamp sets that you already have and how we can use them before they retire or how we can use them um, as they continue forward but just really just how we can use them because as i say there's nothing worse than having something in your house and not using it so we're going to do varied vases okay but we're also going to incorporate in the new matching stamp set that came out with the new spring summer catalog which is vibrant vases uh, and i love this one as well because it has different more like a watercolor so if you look these are these are solid um does that need to come up a little bit smidge does that help maybe so these are solid and then these are like watercolor effect okay so um i like the fact you can use them all together they all fit within the punch so it's a great addition to extend so if you felt like you've done if you you've, maybe you've done varied vases varied vases to death <laughs> i don't know why i chose such a tongue twister for me today but anyway maybe you've done this one to death this is the one to get to add a little bit more zhuzh to your life and to add a bit more use for your punch because they all fit with a punch so you could incorporate these and add these and mix and match etc etc so that's kind of what we're going to do today hey jan nice to see you hope you're keeping well um so yeah so that was a card that i thought of and then i thought you know what i want to make something a little bit brighter <laughs> um, I, I know that's kind of bright but it's not as bright as it could be and i was playing and looking at my um what are these called these are called the laser detailed uh designer series paper and you've probably seen all the big sheets that have got like flowers and stuff in there can i dare i bring it out that's the question i'll give it a try i'll give it a try because i keep it like this because it's all it's all very um fly away stuff it's lovely but you have to keep it quiet because it's very delicate okay so here's a piece of the big sheet like this and you can see oh that's got caught up in it there we go so you can see that it has all this gorgeous detailed lacy effect it's vanilla on one side and it's whisper white on the other so that's really cool for those people who like to do both colors and they come with some frames that you can cut out so this is quite a whoops this is quite a retro kind of um almost like uh, clockwork or cogs or whatever but it's a bit prettier than that because there's actually some flowers in there too so that's pretty uh you'd have seen this one i've used this one before this is the just the oval shape which is lovely um and then they have all these gorgeous different uh, pieces but also on top of all of these lovely pieces look at that that's not gorgeous um on top of all of that they also have um these amazing uh strips so you get these great you can get big strips and little strips oh, where are we I just need to lift this tissue paper up. Here we go. 
So if we lift this tissue paper up and off, you'll see that in here I've got all my strips. So you get big ones and you get little ones. Whoops. And sometimes they get connected together, so you have to just be very careful and gentle about getting them apart. But they're great. I mean, perfect for almost immediate borders, okay, or immediate accents on your card. So this is what we're going to play with today, along with the vases. So I have it in my head of what I want to do. Now we're going to make it live here on Facebook. <laughs> what could go wrong? Nothing will go wrong. It'll be fine. Absolutely fine, she says. Right, now I do need to get that back in there because if I put it down, otherwise it will all go everywhere. So there we go. Slide that back in there. Whoops. And you might have noticed that because of my love of my new Calyx unit, I have actually started oops, a new board on Pinterest called Stamp it, Storage by Stampin' Up and other organisational tips. So I'm going to put my Calyx units up there as well. But I'm also going to add, remember the tips about how to store your paper and all that kind of stuff? Um, and uh, found all your, you know, how you store stuff and my little pots and all that. All those tips for organising I'm going to put up on my Pinterest page so you can find that too. And that's just Queen Pip cards on Pinterest. It's exactly the same. Okay. Oh, Emma's joined us. Hello, you found me. Oh, dear. Was there being trouble? <sighs> I didn't know we had trouble finding me today. I'm hoping everyone's getting on okay. Maybe that's why there's only three of you here. I don't know. But anyway, we'll carry on. This is not going to be necessarily a, a 10 minute video. I'm just going to go and grab my big shot because I can. From my lovely clear space, it's now so easy to get out of my unit and just bring it straight onto the table. Isn't that amazing? <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to, uh, I know kind of how I want it to look, so I'm going to use my Big Shot, which is a little grubby at the moment, as you can see. <clears throat> so excuse the state of my plates. Uh, I'm going to use my Big Shot, and I'm going to use this die, which is the, um, it's from the Stitched Label Framelits. Oh, hi Lisa, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Glad I could give you all that helpful info about my unit. <laughs> it's so much fun I love it anyway right here we go so then I'm going to run this through now because this is a stitched label I'm putting it right in the center where that oops where that additional uh, piece is on the plate at the bottom but it is very detailed so we're just going to double check that it has cut all the way through well it definitely looks like it's cut all the way through that and it looks like it's cut its way all the way through that too. So that's good. You can kind of tell because when you look on the back, you can feel and hear that that's cut through. If it hadn't cut through, it would feel more like card and less like metal. So that's my tip. Now, before I pop that out, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a rectangle using the stitched rectangles. And I've learnt... <laughs> trial and error that putting them at an angle definitely helps with their cutting okay so we're going to pop that through always that through oh now i can try not to move the entire table or the camera too much now is it back i don't normally do two cuts unless it's something with stitching on it because the stitch shapes do yeah that's fine do take just that little bit more effort Okay, so we'll put that away. No more need for that. There we go. I'll get that back in a second. Right, so now we can start popping these out. Oh, I've got more comments coming up. Oops. Who have we got? Where am I? How am I doing? <laughs> That's all right, Lucy. You're very welcome. Okay, so let's pop that out there. We like that. Now this one, you can just ease it with your fingertips and it should just pop out. But then you need to be careful of what you're taking out. Some of it should just come out on here, which obviously this has. Um, and then some of it might stay behind and some of it you might think is stuff that needs to come out, but actually it isn't. So we'll just, I'll get rid of all this. Okay. Now, for once, 
I'm stamping onto something I've already die cut and I know normally I tell you don't do that uh, but I just thought actually for this I, I want to I just want to see how it's going to look in the frame before I actually stamp it okay so that's all the rubbish out of the die then you just need to just double check you've got everything out of here so the only bits that come out are these two pieces here everything else is actually just stitched so see it looks like it might need to I don't know if you can see that can come up here and see this there we go let's turn that off a second can you see that better now maybe come on focus yeah so you can see all this lovely stitching here come on focus focus I'm too close okay so you can see all this lovely stitching here this detail here oh why is it doing that yeah. oh come on nearly had it oh this thing's winding me up today come on no it's not gonna is it it's not gonna it's not gonna play is that better okay that's better so now you can kind of see that stitching so don't try and poke those out because they don't come out they're stitched okay so that's just for decoration so we'll chuck that away and i've chosen the rectangle that kind of, that fits just nicely behind that and then we're going to oh we've got lots of lots more people hi rebecca hey twinny how you doing got my hair appointment booked for friday get my hair color on from stage get it all cut and colored can't wait because it's absolutely horrendously long at the moment so <laughs> rebecca and i go to on stage and everybody keeps saying to rebecca hi pip and they say to me oh rebecca and i go no no other one need to go to the other one because <laughs> we do have although rebecca generally you are pink just pink whereas i'm a bit more multicolored but they still you know people still get us mixed up okay so i'm going to go with um knight of navy and poppy parade some real nice bright colors like this and then i thought that would fit a nice feature and i thought oh i need something behind which is where this comes in you see because here we can just cut out one of these pieces and i quite like yeah, I think we're going to go mm, now. Come on, then, guys. Which one? Which one do we think here? Because actually, I quite like this one because it's a bit like stitching with the dots. Yeah, I quite like that one. I think. What do we think? And you just literally snip down this end here, like this, and then snip this end. And then you've got a, a nice ribbon of pre, it's almost pre die cut, but not being die cut, if that makes sense. So it's laser cut by stamping up for us. So that, you see, I think could go underneath like that. So it's almost like a vase. It almost matches the vase uh, stamp here that does this. Whoops. Here, this one yeah so i think i like that i might even do two but let's let's not get carried away pip let's just go with that to start off with okay so that's that's kind of how i'm going that's why i'm going to roll and i'm going to use this um i was going to just stamp straight the flowers on the onto the thing which is quite pretty actually i could still do that but they'd have to be quite high up mm. no i think i'm going to go with the bars i like the bars changing my mind already but then the flowers will have to be quite small i go with a different bars let's go with the round one let's go through the round window here we go <laughs> uh, haircut on saturday hubby coloring my hair hopefully on sunday Oh no, you're on nights. Oh dear, that's not good. Oh well, at least at least you've got everything organised. That sounds good. All right, let's go with this one because that's smaller. Yeah, I like that. And then we're going to use the little leaf. Now this is the leaf from the vibrant vases, uh, which has this 
open piece at the end. Um, so while I like that, I actually am going to use the one from the varied vases because I prefer the one that's closed at both ends. So we're doing that. Get that out. Oh no, that's in the way now. There we go. So we're going to try with this one because this one's got closed ends at both ends. So I think you can do because this one looked a bit odd when it had holes when I turned the leaf round to do this. So that's just my thinking. Uh, I'm going to use Call Me Clover, Poppy Parade, and obviously Night of Navy. So those are the three colours that I'm using today. So we're going to start with um, Night of Navy. Now I have just re-inked this, so I'm going to have to just see how inky it is on a scrap. Hold on. That's very scrap. I definitely need to get some of the new grid paper because mine's a little bit tatty. Very tatty. Oh, very tatty. I haven't got anything that's worth that's re no. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely going to be getting myself some more grid paper. Come on, there must be one sheet in here that's reasonable. Well, it's not really reasonable, but we'll give it a go. It's better than nothing. We'll just show you that half. It'll be easier. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's try this. So I'm just going to test out how juicy that is. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay, good. So make sure you've got your stitching the right way up on this. You don't want it upside down. And then I'm just going to go straight in with my bars and be brave. There we go. Make sure it's stamped. Nice. Like so. Then I'm going to start adding some Call Me Clover. Uh, Emma says, what is grid paper for? Oh, Emma, grid paper is amazing. Okay, let's just digress slightly. So grid paper is huge. It's it's like this size. Um, it's A3, I guess, something like that. Uh, but I use it, you can use it to test your stamping. You can use it to stamp off and then clean your stamp so you get less ink on your scrub. Uh, you, If you run classes, as I do, or if you're just watching, if you're watching me on YouTube, you can just write down a wish list here of things that you want and take some notes in this section down here. And on one side, it's, um, it's in inches. So it goes from 0 to 8 and 0 to 8 on both sides and from 0 to 10 inches that way and from 0 to 16 inches that that way okay then on the other side <clears throat> which is a bit messy <laughs> okay on the other side oh hello come on refocus no 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 oh no come on refocus there we go thank you um oh, come on, come on. There we go. So this is why I don't put my grid paper down most of the time, because it does do th funny things to my camera. Um, but on this side, it's in centimetres. So it goes from 0 to 20 on both sides, 0 to 40 down here. Yeah, you'll just have to trust me because I can't get it anyhow, because I've got too much stuff on my desk. Uh, and then 0 to 25 centimetres this way. I use it for lining up. So if I have a piece of cardstock that I'm stamping, I, or t putting ribbon across so for example you'll see me use it for this later on if I have a piece of paper I, I line it up with the grid lines and then I run this along a grid line and then I know it's straight so it's fantastic if you're if you ever get stuff a bit bush um, you know skew if so I love my grid paper I use it all the time and you get masses you get the lovely new floral one yeah the limited edition one is is lush Re Rebecca I agree so um, it's just really useful and also I block out things on here so if I'm doing my um, 3d projects Emma I will design on my grid paper so I'll go right it needs to have you know it needs to be five inches by five inches by five and then I or five centimeters or whatever and then I need to have a little bit here for a tab and it just helps me design um, 3d items amazingly well I scribble card designs on it I've scribbled class designs on it I've scribbled Oh, all kinds of things on it so yeah it's just amazing stuff and and it's got two sides so you can continue to use it you know lots and lots it'll last you a long time and 
yeah it's just great and it's recyclable then so you know it's not like you're wasting anything so yeah okay have i gone on about the benefits of grid paper enough i think i probably have right so back to our stamping uh -huh, here we go um but it was a good question thank you for asking because if you don't know it's worth asking because otherwise you'll never know so there you go right so now i'm going to use my call with clover and i am going to just pop in a few leaves like this on there oops where am i going one here there we go um and then oh that doesn't that looks a bit strange okay i'm gonna have to put another one in here yeah it needs two on either side i think there we go this looks better do two on either side like this there we go um, and then I'm going to try and use the straight line from in here, which is the varied vases. There is another straight line. There's a straight line in both of them, but I just happened to have picked this one up. And this one I only want to do a little bit. So I don't want to ink all of it up because I just want to do... Oops, sorry. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I just want to do like this top part here to put a stalk in there. Okay. So we're just going to ink up on the side of my block, oh, side of my block, side of my ink pad, and then you can just put this in here. Now you can do a nice straight one, which is slightly off centre, but we'll cope. And then what you can do, which I think, which is why I love photopolymer stamps actually, is then we can just curve this slightly. And we can just do a slight, oh no, that's too much. See, but I didn't pay attention to this. So now you come and you find out what my little trick is so if i think i'm going to stamp over my image and i don't want to i get some washi tape like this make sure it's got lots of sticky stuff removed from the back of it because you don't want it picking up any of your card and then you can just place a small amount of washi down there like that and then you can stamp with this as long as it doesn't go further down than the wall. Your bars that you've just stamped. Does that make sense? Hopefully that does. And then you can bend it the other way. I should have done that before I inked it up, but you know what I mean. So bend it the other way. And then that's going to go in here. There we go. And then you very gently remove your washi tape like that. OK, so now we've got a vase that's full of leaves <laughs> and flowers. OK, so. Um, aha. <laughs> Emma says she's now ordering hers right now. <laughs> oh, no, that's OK. Digressing is fine. Um, uh, digressing is perfectly fine. And yes, glass mats are great. But I do find sometimes that my glass mat um, gets ink on it if I'm stamping a lot. Um, and then when it gets ink on it, that's when it then gets onto your fingers, onto your card, onto something else. And, you know, then that's that's not what we want. So but this I like because you can get it so that it's clean enough to pull off without having to worry about stuff. Right. So I'm going to now try and attempt to fill in my leaves but I don't want them that dark so I'm going to stamp off on my trusty grid paper and then go back in and line them up and stamp them in there see so that just makes them a little lighter takes the ink off and it's not going to go anywhere because it's just on your grid paper so that's fine so this is called second generation stamping And I like it for adding dimension to things like that. That looks better, doesn't it? OK, so now we're going to stamp our little tiny tulips. So cute. So cute. Uh, and to, to stamp those, you're going to take the strips that you cut off. Hey, Linda. Nice to see you. Um, you're going to take these little strips. These are the strips that I get whenever I cut my cardstock into four. I always end up with one of these strips left over or more than one of these strips, actually, um, because that's how the cardstock cuts. If you follow my 
um, card sizing and cutting guide. So we're going to use Poppy Parade. Now I found a little trick. You need to do these quite widely spaced because otherwise the other parts of the punch are going to come in and blast it. So I'm going to do four. I might come back and do another one. We'll see how it looks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do three, four, or what I'm going to do, to be honest. So you're going to open your punch out. And to do that, in, so lots of people buy these punches and then don't know how to use them. So the way to use this punch is turn it over, flick that lever, and it opens your punch up like this. Now you can punch with it. This is the entry point up here at the top or through the side. I tend to use the top, but you can use the side, but I've... You know, it's up to you. But if you come in from the top, you know you're always going to get it in. So then you line up your flower that you're going to punch. And then what I do is I hold that there like that. So it's held. Now, this does take some dexterity and some strength in your hands. If you can't do that, then you need to do it on the table like this. OK. Uh, so if we put that in here, you need to be able to see where you're going. So I'm going to might need to, I hope I'm not going to get my head in view. Here, it, you, it'll rock, okay, because it's not straight. So you need to be aware that it's going to rock. So rock it back, hold it, then punch, okay. And it's a, it's a pretty hefty punch. Personally, I, I like doing it like this just because it is um, quicker. But it does fly a bit more. So get used to flying tulips, that's all I can say, because they do pop out and then you have to find them. But that's okay. But see, if you do it in the small piece of cardstock, you're generally okay, but you will get a lot of bits. Okay, so then to close it up again, you press down, hold it, slide that back, and now it's storable flat. Okay. All right, we're learning all kinds of new things today. Storage. Um, Punching, grid paper, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, now where's my tape the pick tool? There we go. Now I know I've got another one up here. Bring that one down. I love this thing, it's great. Right, move those off. I don't think I actually need my grid paper anymore. So I'm actually going to move that off. Two. Okay. Right. So there we've got our, our fancy floral frame. And then we're just going to decide what we want to do with our tulips, whether we want three, whether I might want to add another couple, um, like this. Yeah, this looks right, that one's a bit tight. There we go. Yeah, they look cute. Yes, we like that. Alrighty, and I don't mind that it goes over the leaves, it adds a little bit. You could go mad and start adding them in here, but they've got no stems, so I think that would look a bit odd. Personally, that would look a bit odd. So we need mini dimensionals, these mini tiny ones, because these are perfectly designed to fit on the back of these, which is just great. Is that coming too bright again? Let's turn that down a bit. I don't know if we're turning it bright or turning it down. It doesn't really make any difference to this light, honestly. Well, Linda says she's looking forward to playing with stamps. I'm looking to play with that stamp with this stamp set. Yeah, I know it's 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 beautiful. Both of them are beautiful. So you can take your take your pick, pop your little dimensional on the end there like that. Um, don't play around with it too long because it'll fall off. Take your little dimensional off the back, turn it over, and you can usually take your pick if you want to, to then, oh, no, it's sticking to my fingers. Generally, you can pick it back up again, but it's too sticky with this today. So I'm going to pop that on there, like, oops, like that. Now, the question is, do I want them all lifted up? I think I do. I think so. You've got your mini dimensionals, you might as well use them. Don't you think? How's everybody's first of April? Anyone had any April Fools played with them? I'm not going to play any April Fools with you today because I'm not like that. That's just me. 
I am going to tell you, I'm going to be doing a, a good giveaway this month, though. I've got some prizes I want to be giving away. So have a look at my blog this week. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put it, in fact, why don't I do it today? Let's do that today. So, because it's not an April Fool, honestly. Uh, it's true. It's real. It's happening. Um, so I have three lovely prizes left. Um, in my little goodie stash that I have, which I'm going to be giving away, I have um, I have a bundle of the lift me up. So that's the the balloons and the dies. I have another one with the birthday wishes and the and the dies that go with that. And I have another one. I can't remember what it is. I think it has a take your pick tool in it and all kinds of other stuff, um, an embossing folder and stuff like that. And um, because February was my third month, uh, third third month, third year of doing this full time, and I completely didn't have a chance to celebrate it in April, in February. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to come back with April, April Fools, but it's not an April Fools, it's it's real, um, and do a a celebration this month. So I will be giving away that. I'll put it all up on the blog. Um, it's going to be blog candy and order so you have two ways to win you can you can uh you need to post co comment on my blogs all month and or place an order I, over 45 pounds either way you're going to get you're going to get something so if you've got the storage for example that would be easy to get all of it and that'd be great okay so now yeah that's how i want it to look so now we're going to talk about sticking this down this is pretty difficult to stick down i'm going to be honest with you so I just like to use a little bit of my multi-purpose glue. I'm going to get it roughly to the right length first, I think. Okay. I don't want it to go all the way over. I'm just going to go about like that, somewhere like that. I can trim it off afterwards. And then I'm going to just pop. <laughs> she says, come on. Pop my multi-purpose glue all the way down here. There we go. There we go. Just in a very thin line at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to place this in the centre, which is where I should have bought my should have left my grid paper out, but never mind. We're just going to wing it. Just about there. I want it to be. There we go. That's crooked. Let's get it straight. Better. There we go. And then you just stick that down like that. See? Easy. Once you get there. Right. Pop that down. Take these off. And I've used my non-glue scissors. I'm <gasps> going to have to glue, clean those afterwards. <laughs> there we go. So what, what do we think? Are we having a... Most of all is on back order, but I've definitely got my floral grid paper in the new storage. That's great. Oh, Rebecca's saying that she had a, an April fall from stamping up with some back order stuff today. Yeah, well, it's it's about like that. We've had some customs issues, haven't we, Rebecca? So I wonder if that's got something to do with it. But um, I have to say, everything I put through yesterday uh, went through OK. So fingers crossed. As long as the storage and the floral grid paper is there, we're all happy, right? <laughs> so I'm going to just pop that down. I don't think I need more than... I don't think I need more than one strip. I could put more than one strip, but I don't think it needs more than one strip. Okay. So what do we think so far? Okay, is it looking all right to you guys? What do you think? I mean, it's a quite classic um, formal kind of card, this, I think. Although I had, I, I think the tulips add a little bit of fun to them. And then we're going to put this one up on dimensionals. I'm going to stick this one flat to there. So we'll do that. It's going to be very sunny here today. It's actually looking better today than it was yesterday. And Sean was Sean's been planting and gardening as well as putting up my unit over the weekend. He's been a very busy boy. So um, we've got new beautiful flowers in the garden and some ferns for me to look out from my window where it's all shady, which is quite nice. So here we go pop that on there big dimensionals for this obviously and remember we don't want what do we not want soggy middles no soggy middles so 
Hopefully you're having a good day. I don't know, because you're not talking to me. Come and talk to me. Tell me how your days are going. Happy days, good days. Anyone got holidays coming up? It's Easter this month. Obviously it's on stage, so obviously all of my, lots of my Stampin' Up! friends, I will see see you at on stage. Yay! Can't wait for that. Uh, but what else is people? Easter holidays. I know one of my one of my friends is is going off on a boat, canaling it round. All right, let's have a look. Put this down here. There we go. There we go. What do we think? We like. I quite like that. I quite. I think that's good. Yes, Linda, I'm also hoping that it doesn't affect PPP. <laughs> For those of you who are not demonstrators who are watching this, uh, PPP is when people like me and Linda and Rebecca and everybody else um, who's going gets to go to on stage. You can order stuff in a product purchase premiere, so you get to order the new annual catalogue stuff before anybody else, which is cool. But I'll be showing you that stuff. A little bit in April, most of that will come out in May from me. So there we go. So that's really simple. You could add a little birthday message. Might just do that. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got now in the new vibrant vases, we've got quite a good selection just for you. I like the just for you actually. That's nice. I might pop that straight down on the card. <sighs> Risky, but worth it um, sometimes. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's. Um, just for you then there's celebrate every tiny victory thanks for understanding you are always loved if you don't like all of those um, sentiments so if you wanted to just say thanks but not say for understanding then you just use the washi tape trick okay so if we did that one I'll just show you what I mean so the thanks for understanding a bit like we did with the flowers because sometimes you don't want to say thanks for understanding you just want to say thanks but sometimes you do want to say for understanding, which is nice, you know, if you've had to delay, put somebody off or, you know, be late with something. So you put your you put your words down on your block, same as normal. Before you ink it up, this is critical, before you ink it up, you're going to apply some washi tape just over the words you don't want. OK, which tend to be in a long line along the bottom, thankfully, in this one, which is good. So you just stick your washi tape down to that like so okay now the question is blue or red blue or red blue or red has to be blue i think doesn't it then you ink up your word okay so we get your word and you ink it up all right that looks good that looks like it's all covered good good then you peel off it's not very dark though there we go that's better then you peel off here see you can see now that the ink is now on the washi tape in a long line here so then you peel your washi tape back off and that's protected the stamp from getting the ink uh, the trick is getting it off your fingers but once you've worked out how to get your washi tape off without it inking up your fingers your job's good um, so then you can come in here and hopefully you haven't touched the edge of any of that i don't think so yeah no that's oh we might have just got a bit on that understanding there there we go you just have to make sure it hasn't seeped through your washi tape but should just be able to then drop down here and just do the thanks there we go like that that's pretty i like that you like that and then obviously you could bling it up if you wanted to um, you could also punch a couple of extra tulips and pop them up here in the corner but if I if I raise that up like this hopefully you can now see is that pretty what do you think hopefully you like that um, so yes so that's how you would do that thanks and i love the font of that it's just very classy so there we go so from this to this which is you know quite different but also quite the same um 
vibrant vases for all of this one. Oh, we've got hearts. Thank you. I thank you very much. I don't know who that was, but thank you. It didn't give me a face. I don't know why that didn't give me a face. But there you go. So thank you very much for those hearts. Um, <laughs> it just, um, it, I have to say, I, there's a reason why I like hearts, okay? Because it helps other people to find the um, find my video. So the more hearts or likes or, you know, things that you react with or comments that you make, um, the better. Oh, look at you all now. I've got angry faces. No angry. We don't want angry faces. <laughs> But that's lovely thank you very much so so yeah really quick card using a mixture of the two and i i really like the fact that you can mix up the two i'm going to move those off so i don't forget to clean them because you know you've got to clean your stamps afterwards um i like the don't get me wrong i do love these vases from this set but i just there's something about these vases i think that just calls to me a little bit more i really love this flowery one this leafy one here that i did i could see coloring that in you could sit and color all of these in to be honest or you could just use the you know like i did with the leaf the behind the behind the bars image but they're just really really great for quick cards simple cards big small you know you could make it you can make i've made them on little narrow notelets and obviously i've made them now to fit on a on a large normal a6 size cards you could do them just with the i've seen some beautiful cards just with the tulips or just with these small flowers now these small flowers don't have a punch that goes with them but you could just you know just stamping them all in a in a floral display or um stamping them all and then adding some tulips that have been punched out just beautiful so i hope that that has given you a little bit more inspiration to get your varied vases um, back out of the cupboard um, and if you feel like you want some more vases in your life then there's vibrant vases available too so that's good isn't it okay so have a lovely day hopefully you've enjoyed that i'll pop it all up on the blog um, with a list of everything i've used so you don't have to worry about writing all that down uh, have a great week i'll be back again next week and what am i doing this week this week this week this week oh yes wednesday come and learn some more techniques from me about stamping and uh, i've got a little bit of a box frame going on on wednesday so yeah, you might want to come and have a look at that okay so uh, so that'll be my video um on youtube on wednesday so i'm up on the blog more information about my um april giveaway as well because i want to give some prizes away for celebrating my three years um full time with stamping up i mean it's it's an amazing thing that i can do this and um and live <laughs> you know that's the important thing isn't it so yeah so thanks ever so much for watching um i'm grateful to all of you because you make my dreams come true and uh i will see you again soon and we'll be giving stuff away over on the blog all righty take care everyone have a good week see you later bye